You ready, Pacer? Let's roll. So September 15th, 2022, coming up from Willow Lake Trailhead outside of Crestone, Colorado. More of a local trailhead for us now. <laughs> Didn't have to camp out. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna try to summit two 14ers today. One's kind of unofficial, I guess. Challenger Point, and then going up to, uh, what's the other one called? Kit Carson. Kit Carson. And Pacers in tow. So we'll see how the scrambling goes above tree line. Could be a bit rocky, low class three route. Try to link them together. See what we could find above tree line. Got some lakes and waterfalls first. Yay, Pacer! Yay, Pacer! I think we're going up and around to the left here. about 3.5 miles in, almost 6K in. Climbed about 2,000 vertical feet. Not up at the Willow Lake yet. We go around the left side of it, climbers left. And uh, yeah, this route should be about maybe 6.5, maybe 7.5 miles one way to the summit of, what's that one we're doing again? Kit Carson, the second one, if we hit Challenger Point first in route. So two 14ers technically, 14er peaks in Colorado here, up the Willow Lake Trail. Let's go find this lake. We got some colors in the leaves. It is not hot out today. It is definitely pacer weather. So we got some extra layers in our packs here because it's still kind of cloudy, hoping the clouds will burn off and we'll get a good view as we head up. But we've already got some great rock formations on both sides of the valley here. It's a really cool trail. Go Pacer! What do you think, Pacer? There's the lake, a little lake. All right, so you got the view of the lake here, Willow Lake, about 4.8 miles in. So just for reference, we'll swing around the left side here and then do the north north trail, north face approach uh, towards Chandra Point. Over there. It's clearing up, clearing up, Pacer. So I think we're gonna cut kind of up to the right here. Get up Challenger Point in the clouds. Then uh, Kit Carson's over here. So this is at, uh, what, 5.2 miles in, 8.4K? Yep, to the right. I misspoke back there. It was more like 5.37 miles in. Uh, I still got about 2,500 feet of climbing. Isn't that right, Pacer? All right, hitting about 12,000 feet here, going through this little boulder field. I am eating a spring energy bar. Nature up. It's got the cashew butter, the almonds. Actually, I'm not sure if it has almonds in it. I'll list the ingredients there. But ingredients you could pronounce. Tastes great, portable, great bar. 12,000 feet elevation. Still going up, Pacer. 
getting a bit rocky cracking tree line here. Got some swirling clouds on the summit. The trail is quite steep and rocky in these parts, as you can see going up here. One final push for the summit. Looks like you're gonna have to do a little climbing pace, right? Track 13,000 feet. Pacer, get ya. You got it, Pacer. You got it, Anson. Snow! Snow for Pacer! Look at that, Pacer. All right, so we're about 13,800 feet in elevation. Six and a half miles in, that's over 10K. Hitting this notch, I believe, is what it's called. So we're on the right of that. Then I think the trail goes off to the left and we ride the ridge to the summit of Challenger Point. Hopefully. Turn up. The wind is a bit frigid, I am not gonna lie. I gotta put my pants on. Thank you, Hoka. Gotta put on my rain pants. What do you think, Pacer? Epic! Epic! Pacer! Look at this ice! Cliff on your right. Oh, there's that sunshine. Alright, so we're riding this ridge line trail, sticking to the left. Less exposure to the summit. See Kit Carson there. All its glory, fresh snow. Yeah, make the ridgeline summit of Challenger Point coming up. I'm getting excited, Pacer. Mainly because I'm sheltered from the wind on this side. <laughs> Mainly because I'm sheltered from the wind. What do you think, Wolf Dog? point 14,080 feet about behind us we've got the crest stone group well you can see in the distance but most importantly Kit Carson which we're gonna maybe still try to summit depending on the weather I'll get some good hikers coming back so, rest in peace challenger crew the shuttle that uh, these people lost their lives on the noble pursuit to explore the unknown, explore space and something that was real near and dear to my heart because of I wanted to be an aerospace engineer and Colonel's engineering department had some connections with NASA but got a trail we could follow here we've got to dip down and then I think we hit this ramp that goes left to right across to hit that gap wrap around the right side of Kit Carson there before we could summit so we'll see how much that adds on see what the exposure is like especially for Pacer we're dipping down in this little notch here, low point. Can't make the summit without wrapping around this ramp, we think. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, but yeah, the sun's out, Pacer's antsy, and uh, wind died down on this ridge so far, so, so far.
far so good, huh, Pacer? Stay back. Hit the top of that ramp. Heck of a view of the Crestone group. Crestone needle. Oh. Gotta go down that. Pacer, easy does it. Alright, so we're just gonna cut left here, see some carns. Otherwise, you just get clipped out, Pacer. Let's see if old Uncle Sage can lead the way here. A little bit steeper as we get to the class 3 terrain, I believe. So we'll watch our footing. No, not that much. Okay. Pacer. You got it, Pacer. You got it. You got it, Pacer. That's it. That's how we do it. That's how we do it, Pacer. Good job, Pacer. Yeah, so we're hitting these switchbacks. Pretty steep, but not too steep yet. Following some cars up towards the top, hopefully. Right here. Come on. Climbing up. east where we came up the valley down there you could see the lake and then we got challenger peak where we came from there but yeah good uh summit views town of creston the creston group over here at creston needle you must be able to see blanca and little bear down there uh you can see the iron nipple mount Lindsay, at humboldt and Columbra, Columbra, way in the distance. Yeah. Pacer get a treat. Pacer get in some calories. She got some calories and drinks. That's very good. It's a great view of the sand dunes down there too. So yeah, glad the weather cleared a bit. It's not as cold, not too windy. We got some sunshine even. Sandy Cristo range. Really glad we made it up here and the clouds parted at least. Uh, but yeah, seven and a half miles one way there with quite a bit of elevation gain. I think total it'll be over 6,000 feet climbing, about 6,500 feet, so Crescent Group's looking amazing. Okay, so that's a wrap from the top of Kit Carson Peak, 14,160 feet about. Put that in meters there, and we got to also hit that Challenger Point there, which is really cool. Cool trail, cool waterfalls. It's gonna be a big day, especially for Pacer on this rough terrain, but 
she's been handling it like a champ so thanks so much for all the patreon support for making this channel possible as well as uh, all you supporters of higherrunning.com sandy and i just released brand new product you can check it out our ultimate running course learn how to coach yourself check it out on higher, higherrunning.com that is a business plug but it's got a, a really cool product we've been working on for months and months and months so be sure to check that out we also have training plans for any surface any distance and uh yeah thanks so much for subscribing liking these videos stay tuned for more mountain adventures as well as running training tips you name it any service any distance thanks again guys stay tuned for more video to max productions this is precipitating quite hard i got you pacer whiteout conditions here trying to finish things up here got my speed goats on okay let's get off this mountain before these hail pelts get too big pacer what do you think? Yeah, it's okay, we got gotcha. you. And uh, yeah, it's only supposed to be a 15% chance of precipitation today, but you know Colorado in the mountains. Luckily, we don't hear as much thunder anymore, so we're trying to get down safely. If I post this video, it means we made it back.